infections, intestinal ambiasis. Ambiasis is the infestation of Antamoeba histolytica. This parasite has a worldwide distribution and is transmitted mainly in contaminated drinking water. Pathology, the ulcer of amoebiasis, has been described as bottlenecked because of considerable undermined edge, have a yellow necrotic floor from which a blood and pus will be oxidated. Biopsy, endoscopic biopsy, or a flesh hot stool are examined carefully to look for the presence of amoeba. Clinical feature of amoebiasis, the dysentery is the principal manifestation of this disease, but it may have a surgical problem, which is rare. Appendicitis or amoebic cecal mass, perforation, the most common site of the perforation in the cecum and rectal segment, severe rectal hemorrhage or as a result of separation of the slough is liable to be occur, granuloma, progressive amoebic invasion of the wall of the rectum or, rectum or, or, or colon with the secondary inflammation can produce granulomatous mass which is very difficult to distinguish between it and carcinoma. Ulcerative colitis, any patient with ulcerative colitis should be searched uh, by uh, of the amoeba. Fibrous structure may follow the healing of extensive amoebic ulcer. Intestinal obstruction is a common complication of amoebiasis. Baracolic abscess, ischiorectal abscess, and fistula occur from the perforation by amoeba of the intestinal wall followed by secondary infection. Treatment of amoebiasis is a medical by metronidazole. Flagyl is the first line drug, 800 mg three times daily for 7 to 10 days. Diloxinide furate is based for a chronic infection that associated with the passage of the cyst in the stool. Intestinal am antibiotic improve that the result of the chronic stage probably by covering with the super added infection. Typhoid and paratyphoid infection. Typhoid but paralytic ileus is the most common complication of typhoid. Intestinal hemorrhage may be the leading symptom. Other surgical complication with, which is also rare. Hemorrhage, perforation, cholecystitis, phlebitis, genitourinary inflammation, arthritis, osteomyelitis. Typhoid ulcer, perforation of the typhoid ulcer usually occur during the third week of infection. The ulcer is parallel to the long axis of the gut and is usually situated in the lower ileum. Paratyphoid B, perforation of the large intestine, sometimes occur in paratyphoid B infection. TB of the intestine, TB of the intestine either it is ulcerative type or hyperplastic type. Ulcerative type is secondary to the pulmonary TB and arise a result as a result of swallowing tubercle bacilli. There are multiple ulcers in the terminal ileum lying transversely and overlying cirrhosa is thickened, reddened and covered in tubercle. Clinical picture, diarrhea with weight loss are the predominant symptoms and patient usually receiving treatment or for pulmonary TB. A barium meal and follow through or small bowel enema will show the absence of with, will show the absence of the filling of the lower ileum, cecum, and most of the ascending colon as a result of narrowing. Treatment, a course of chemotherapy, anti-TB drug is given. Healing often occur provided with the pulmonary TB is adequately treated. A operation is only required in rare event for perforation or intestinal obstruction. Hyperplastic type, this is usually occur in the ileocecal region, although solitary and multiple lesions in the lower ilia are sometimes seen. This is, this is caused by ingestion of myco mycobacterium TB by the patient. Attack of the abdominal pain and intermittent diarrhea are the usual symptoms of hyperplastic type. The ileum above 
the partial obstruction is distended and stasis and consequent consequent infection lead to the steatory anemia weight loss sometime presenting picture of a mass in the right iliac fossa in patient with the vague ill health the differential diagnosis is that of the ventricular mass carcinoma of the cecum crohn's disease tb or actinomycosis of the cecum barium follow through or small bowel enema will show a long narrow filling defect in the terminal ileum also the treatment is by chemotherapy if there is no surgical complication like obstruction treatment with the chemotherapy advice and cure the condition where the obstruction is present operative treatment is required and ileocecal resection is indicated the last infection is actinomycosis of the ileocecal region abdominal actinomycosis is rare unlike intestinal TB narrowing of the lumen of the intestinal does not occur and the lymph node is not become enlarged however a local abscess spread to the retroperitoneal tissue and the adjacent abdominal wall becoming becoming the seat of multiple undurated discharging sinus the usual history is that after appendicectomy by three weeks after surgery a mass will be palpable in the right iliac fossa and soon after that the wound become discharging at the first the discharge is thin and watery but the later become thick and mal odors both should be sent for bacteriological examination which will be relieved will, will be revealed the characteristic silver granules treatment by antibiotic penicillin cotrimoxazole treatment should be prolonged and high dose tumor of the small intestine compared with the large intestine the tumor of the small intestine is rare benign tumor of the small intestine adenoma submucous lipoma or gastrointestinal stromal tumor just occur from time to time and sometimes reveal themselves by causing interception the second most common presentation is bleeding from the adenoma in which the event the diagnosis is frequently long delayed because the tumor is overlooked by the barium radiology or endoscopy uh, or even surgery due to jigger syndrome this is autosomal dominant disease this consists of intestinal hamartomatus is a polyposis affecting the whole small bowel and colon where it causes of hemorrhage and usually often interception melanosis of the oral mucous membrane and, or, or, and the lip long term follow up of the patient with butyl jugger syndrome has shown reduced survival secondary to complication of recurrent bowel cancer and development of wide range of cancer including colorectal gastric breast cervical ovarian area histology of the butyl jugger syndrome the polyps can be linked to three the trunk and the branches are smooth muscle fiber and the foliage is virtually normal mucosa treatment as malignant changes rarely occur so the resection is only necessary for the serious bleeding or interception large single polyp can be removed by enterotomy or short length of heavily involved intestine can be resection of the intestine with the end to end stenosis the incidence of further lesion develop problem in the future can be reduced by a thorough intraoperative examination at the time of the first laboratory using on table enteroscopy body suitable for removal can be identified those lesions with a reach can be snared by colonoscopy this is the hyperpigmentation or melanosis of the lips in butyl jugger syndrome malignant tumor of the small bowel lymphoma there are three main type of lymphoma western type 
they they are now thought to be non-Hodgkin B-cell lymphoma in origin. They may be present with obstruction, bleeding, perforation, anorexia, and weight loss. Primary lymphoma associated with the celiac disease. This is now regarded as T-cell lymphoma, worsening of the patient diarrhea with pyrexia of unknown etiology together with the local obstructive symptom is the presenting feature of primary lymphoma associated with the celiac disease. Mediterranean lymphoma, this is found mostly in North Africa and Middle East and is associated with the alpha chain disease. Unless there are particular surgical complications, the, these conditions are usually treated with chemotherapy. Carcinoma of the small bowel, like small bowel tumor, this can present with the obstruction, bleeding, or diarrhea. Complete resection offer the only hope of a cure of carcinoma. Carcinoid tumor, this tumor occur throughout the gastrointestinal tract, most commonly in the appendix, ileum, rectum, in decreasing order of frequency. This arise from neuroendocrine cell at the base of crypts, argentifine cell. The primary is usually small, but when they metastasize to the liver, which is most usually side that involved, when this occur, the carcinoid syndrome has been become evident. The tumors can produce a number of vasoactive peptides, most commonly when is 5-hydroxytryptaline serotonin, which may be present as 5-hydroxy indole acetic acid in the urine of the patient during the attack. The clinical syndrome itself consists of reddish blue cyanosis, flushing attack, diarrhea, bobargamy, asthmatic attack, and eventually sometimes pulmonary and tricuspid stenosis Classically, the flushing attack are induced by alcohol. Treatment of carcinoid tumor. Most patients with the gastrointestinal carcinoid do not have carcinoid syndrome. Surgical resection is usually sufficient. In cases found incidentally at the appendicectomy, nothing further is required, i.e. need just a appendicectomy, need no further management. In patients with the metastatic disease, especially in the liver, multiple inoculations of the hepatic metastasis or even partial hepatectomy can be carried out. The treatment has been transformed by the use of octreotide, which is a somatostatin analog inhibitor of the GIT. Gastrointestinal stromal tumor, this tumor can be either benign or malignant. An increased size is associated with the malignant potential. Just a tumor is a type of sarcoma that develops from connective tissue cells. It is found most commonly in the stomach, but can be found in other sites of the gut. It occurs most commonly in 50 to 70 years old group. Patient may be asymptomatic. Other symptoms include lethargy, pain, nausea, hematemesis, or melina. Treatment surgery is the most effective way of cure, that removing the gist as they are radioresistance. Tumor of the large intestine, benign. The term bolid is a clinical description of any elevated tumor of the bowel. Bolid can occur single or synchronously in the small number as a part of the bolibosis syndrome. In FAB, familial adenomatous bolibosis, more than 100 adenoma are present. It is important to be sure of the histological diagnosis because adenoma have a significant malignant potential called adenoma carcinoma sequence. This classification of the polyp, an inflammatory polyp, metaplastic polyp or hyperplastic polyp, hamartomatous that occur in Peutz-Jigar syndrome, ju juvenile polyp, neoplastic, the most common one is adenoma, 
that have three type tubular tubular villus villus and other type adenocarcinoma or carcinoid tumor may be become as polyp adenomatous polyp vary from tubal, tubular adenoma rather than raspberry or stalk to a villus adenoma a flat spreading lesion villus tumor more usually give symptom of diarrhea mucus discharge and occasionally hypokalemia the risk of malignancy developing an adenoma increase with the increased size of this tumor for example one cm diameter tubular adenoma have a risk of malignancy by 10 percent whereas the villus adenoma over 2 cm in diameter have a risk of carcinoma by 15 percent Adenoma larger than 5 mm in diameter should be resected because the, their malignant potential. Colonoscopic snare polypectomy or diathermy obliteration with a biopsy forceps can be used to resect the polyp. A huge villus adenoma of the rectum can be difficult to remove even with the, with the technique bare anus and occasionally required proctocolectomy proctectomy lafo. familial adenomatous polyposis is a clinical def clinical defined by a presence of more than 100 colorectal adenoma over 80 percent of cases come from patient with the positive family history 20 percent arise as a result of new mut mutation in the adenomatous polyposis colli gene this has been identified on the short arm of chromosome 5. Although the large bowel is mainly affected, polyp can occur in the stomach, duodenum, and the small intestine. The main risk of the large bowel cancer, but the duodenum and ambular tumor may be reported. It is inherited as a Mendelian dominant condition. The risk of colorectal cancer is 100%. In patient with the fab male and female are equally affected by the fab fab can be associated with the benign mesodermal tumor such as this dysmoid tumor and osteoma when it is associated also with the epidermoid cyst called Gardner syndrome dysmoid tumor in the abdomen invade locally to involve the intestinal mesentery and although non-metastatizing but it can be unresectable tumor clinical feature of fab polyp are usually visible on sigmoidoscopy by the age of 15 years and will be almost always be visible by the age of 30 years carcinoma of the large bowel occur 10 to 20 years after the onset of diagnosis of polyposis. Symptomatic patient, these are either patients in whom a new mutation has occurred or those of the affected family who are not being screened. They may be loose stool, lower abdominal pain, weight loss, diarrhea, and the passage of blood and the mucus. Symptomatic patient is rare because it is autosomal dominant, so the pa all the patient of the family will be screened. Polyp are seen in the sigmoidoscopy and double contrast barium enema. If in doubt, colonoscopy is performed with the biopsies to establish the number of histological type of polyp. If over 100 adenoma are present, the diagnosis can be made confidently. In asymptomatic patient, direct genetic testing will reveal mutation in 80% of cases. The site of a mutation within the gene has important effect on the phenotype. If there are no adenoma by the age of 30 years, FAB is unlikely. If the diagnosis is made during adolescence, operation usually deferred to the age of 17, 18 years or when the symptom or of multiple polyp develop. Screening policy of FAB 
at risk family member are offered genetic testing in their early teens. At risk member of the family should be examined at the age of 10 to 12 years, repeated every year. Most of those who are going to get polyp will have them at the 20 years and then required operation. If there are no polyp at the 20 years, continue with the screening five yearly examination until the age of 50 years. If there is still no polyp, there are probably no inherited gene in this patient. Treatment colectomy with iliorectal anastomosis has been in the past been usual operation because it is avoid ileostomy in young patient and avoid risk of pelvic dissection to nerve function. The alternative is restorative proctocolectomy with the ilioanal anastomosis. This is a higher complication rate than ileorectal anastomosis. It is indicated in patient with the serious rectal involvement with the polyp. Lunch syndrome, hereditary non polyposis colorectal cancer. This syndrome is characterized by increased risk of colorectal cancer and can cancers of the endometrium, ovary, stomach, small intestine. It is inherited as autosomal dominant condition that caused by mutation in one of the DNA mismatch repair gene, MLH1, MSH2, MSH6, BMS and BMS2. The lifetime risk of developing ca cancer is 80%. Diagnosis of hereditary non polyposis colorectal cancer can be diagnosed by genetic testing or Amsterdam criteria 2, which involve three or more family members with non, non polyposis colorectal cancer related cancer or one of whom is the first degree relative of the other two. Two successive affected generation, one or more non polyposis colorectal cancer related cancer diagnosed before the age of 50 years. Exclusion of the FAB.